guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 19 of Hidogato Sky. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. What's wrong? Oh my god, look at the apples! I got it! Time out. I just heard, my god, I hear her saying you over there. All I heard was baby Kanye! Well, that looks good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But gotta see the opening. Gotta see her in the opening now, because it's time. There we go. <laughs> I feel bad for the people who were below me once again. <clears throat> Look how pretty she looks! Oh my god! Finally! The family is here! <laughs> Aww. But the fact that Agatha is like cleaning and everything, she gives me hella Toru vibes. Your mom, your parents.
Oh my god. <laughs> That mother touch. I mean, you know, Sora, that is a really good definition for you. I will take it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> She's okay. She's asleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> He's right. I mean, because you are partners, right? Mm-hmm. That's what we're gonna do today. Oh, they still have this one. Even though I still love it. But I'm guessing they're gonna wait a little bit longer for the four of them to show up. Sometimes you have to do that, and sometimes life is like that. <laughs> well, that's something that parents will always do. At first you're thinking it's annoyance, but they do it because they love you.
No, no, no. I don't think she thinks it like that. <laughs> Turning out great. Oh, it's perfect. Of course. It's all three of your ideas. Mm hmm. The bear parachute is giving me like hella muffin vibes. <laughs> Well, you know how I just said in the <laughs> raw one, raw video, <laughs> in the mo <laughs> raw one, oh my god, in the yes, pretty here five video, how I literally you used the fire hydrant, now we're using trash bins. There you go. <laughs> Literally the two bus colors that look good together, orange and pink. <laughs> Dang, because I thought we were going to see the standing menacingly pose today with all four. Nah, next week. Ha, ha, ha.
the fact that they understood in bird language. <laughs> I mean, dang, baby is only a week two of her freaking prettiness, and I love it. It looks like a sunset. This is so pretty! Oh my god! Her nails. Just, <laughs> Well, damn. Oh.
But it suits you. Yeah, it's your style. You don't have to always be like <laughs> Sky <laughs> Prism. There's a reason why both of your attacks are unique. I mean, yes, even I myself, I think a lot of us were expecting you to do the same as those two. But yours is just as unique. Oh, you guys ate breakfast for her? Goodbye. I love my family. They're so cute together. I'm gonna die. <laughs> That just reminds you of all the feels <laughs> when Smile came out. And I, you know what? All I gotta say is, I think at the time when they made Smile, Toei probably didn't know how big that was going to be because at that time when Smile was airing, I think I was... I, I was still in high school at the time. I still was. Um, it blew the freak up and... It was nuts. And to just, you, sometimes you wish you could just go back in time and see those memories. It, it's just like, at that, at that time, seeing Pretty Care trending on Twitter because of Smile Pretty Care, and then seeing it now trending once again because of just Pretty Care Love in the nutshell, because, you know, everybody loves the show and cares about it so much for so many different reasons and the characters and the story and just everything else. But, Getting people in vast different age groups having a chance to watch this show and to learn lessons that, you know, hey, you're relearning or just something brand new. It, it's just wonderful and why I love this show so much. But let's go ahead and talk about my babies. My babies did good today. Yes, even though I was also expecting them to do the same power move as Sky and Prism. But for them to get a unique power move that is still the same level as theirs, it does make me also wonder for the final power up how that's going to be. But I do also like the fact is going into this episode with once again as someone who just finished rewatching episodes seven and eight of Mahold Skies with the duo esque going into this because this was last week this was one of the most anticipated episodes because yes when you get to the first episode of so nope wrong person Supasa and Agha getting their first initial episode of the start of their partnership and thinking like, yeah, this isn't going to work out. And you see how fully developed they've been from then to now and seeing how much they've grown together as a duo and as friends. That's the same thing as a rewatch of Mahotsuka. You're seeing that with Mirai and Rico. And so that's what I really, truly love because when one is down, the other one is able to pick the other one back up and vice versa. They are each other's, you know, people, are persons that will always be there for each other and to help them lift them up whenever things are down. And so technically, even though, yes, I I, I don't ship it, um, 
I don't feel Super Bowl moments in it. I just look at it as a really good partnership. They're just very adorable together and have very cute bickery moments where I can be like, yeah, that's cute, but I don't I don't feel anything from that, especially when I'm looking at, like, Sora and Mashido or, like, any girl um, in the Pretty Cure series that has another moment with another girl. You'd be like, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah y'all doing something on the side. But to see these two thrive in their own episode together does give me feels to even when in Kita Kita when they focused on gelato and um, pudding or even um, cho yeah well I'm not only thinking of chocolate and macaron but parfait and you know whip just pretty much anyone who is a duo out of the group of how many of our boys or girls that we have together but still it's really nice i do love their little you know their magical girl transformation palette i think that's really cute it was funny because when it came when like all the pictures between last week and the week before last um of butterfly finally coming into the mix and everything and seeing the toy I didn't know what it was going to be. I think a lot of us were trying to get the context clues and everything. We knew, like at first, I was expecting it to be a more of a makeup thing. Um, not thinking of the kids thing because, yes, she wants to be, you know, a, a little, like, a caretaker for kids and stuff. And that is her dream. But when I looked at it, I was like, that looks more like a makeup palette, kind of. But looking at the easel and, and the, the thing with Jiggy and, and stuff, I did, how did I not piece that together and such? But yes, I thought this was really sweet. I love the fact that, you know, both of them plus um, Elchon also made a piece, painted the mural together. I thought that was really sweet and a really nice um, teamwork experience and team bonding moment between the two of them. And I'm really hoping that continuing on with the rest of the series of this season that we do get those moments. Yes, I still love when we get episodes that focus on one character with the other one still also getting the equal mounts. But when you have the two duos together and working as their duo as and as a team, it, it's more thrivable where it's like, damn, like, you're, you're done. like my soul hurts it's just it's so freaking cute but the fact is that next week we're getting a macho focus episode again but more of her realizing her dream into being a story writer it, it's going to hit a lot of homes towards komachi or um cure beauty in a way or so many others um what's her face from go princess who once again, a character we all wanted to become a pretty cure, but in the end, she was just a storyteller that used the pretty cure as with her storytelling. And I think whatever Machido does by the end of it, I feel like she might end up linking it to her pretty cure using us um, for her story. And so hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of the series, we do get to see something for it. But we have to just wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 19 of the Hidagato Sky Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday or Sunday for episode nope, episode 20. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.